Hello and welcome to the GRACE video presentation of An Introduction to Initial Chemotherapy for Advanced, Alternatively Referred to as Metastatic, Non-Small Cell Lung Cancer. My name is Dr. Jack West and I'm a medical oncologist and medical director of the Thoracic Oncology Program at Swedish Cancer Institute in Seattle, Washington. I also serve as the President and CEO of GRACE, the global resource for advancing cancer education. This video presentation is sponsored by the loving family of my patient, Melissa Peterson. They are hoping to help the entire lung cancer community. And for other people who might be interested in sponsoring a presentation about a topic that is important to you, please email info at cancergrace.org. A few disclaimers before we get started. The information provided here includes my own views, and they are not necessarily those of the Global Resource for Advancing Cancer Education, or GRACE, nor those of Swedish Cancer Institute. The contents of this program do not constitute medical advice, and they are intended to supplement but not replace input from an individual patient's own medical team. This program includes detailed medical information, such as general cancer survival statistics and other information that may be discouraging or upsetting to some people. It is important to remember that individual patients have very different outcomes, some far better and others worse, than the numbers for the broader population. With rare exceptions, our goal for treating advanced non-small cell lung cancer is to improve survival and reduce cancer-related symptoms. But this is a setting in which we really can't say we're able to treat with curative intent. A little over 10 years ago, we were asking the very basic question of whether there was a convincing value in treating advanced non-small cell lung cancer. This was largely answered by a meta-analysis, which is a pooled analysis of multiple similar trials. The meta-analysis, published in the British Medical Journal in 1995, combined results from 11 trials of chemo versus no chemo for advanced non-small cell lung cancer. The work with cisplatin-based chemo showed an average of a 27% improvement in survival at any given time point, and an improvement in median survival by one and a half months. The one-year survival increased by 10% overall in the pooled results of these older studies with cisplatin. Fortunately, since that time, we've seen the introduction of many new treatments for non-small cell lung cancer, which are shown on the right side of the slide. These include such agents as Taxol and Taxotere, Gemcitabine and Navalbine, Arinotecan, Topotecan, and Pemetrexid, or Olympta. Each of these agents has been shown to have activity in metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. Our general strategy in oncology is to add treatments to our current standards, and this led to trials of cisplatin alone versus cisplatin plus a new drug. Shown here are results from two trials, one with navalbine and the other with gemcitabine, each combined with cisplatin versus cisplatin alone. As shown in the slide, the doublets were associated with significant improvements in response rate, time to disease progression, median survival, and one-year survival. In the wake of these and other trials, the standards for healthier patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer became one of various platinum-based doublets as first-line therapy. This led to the question of which platinum-based doublet combination was the best. A trial was conducted to compare four leading considerations, in this case, cisplatin and taxol, cisplatin and taxotere, cisplatin and gemcitabine, or carboplatin and taxol. These were randomized among 1,200 patients with advanced and previously untreated non-small cell lung cancer. We were disappointed to see that all of these treatment approaches produced the same results as shown in the so-called survival curves on the right, as you can see, the curves are all completely superimposable, both in terms of overall survival on top and also progression-free survival on the bottom. The clear conclusion was that there is no regimen of choice, but truly a choice of regimens for patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. Similar trials have been done that compared commonly used platinum-based doublets, here carboplatin and taxol, as well as carboplatin and gemcitabine, against non-platinum doublets, such as taxol and gemcitabine. As you can see in the completely overlapping survival curves on the right, non-platinum doublets offered yet another comparable 
but unfortunately not clearly superior alternative. This was actually the case for both efficacy and side effect profile. You might also ask, as the medical oncology community did, whether these newer agents were effective enough that we might drop the platinum agent altogether and just go with one good newer agent. A trial asked this question by comparing Taxol alone to Taxol with carboplatin. As highlighted by the survival curves here, and particularly at the red arrow where there is a gap between them, it's clear that the two-drug combination was associated with a modestly but convincingly better survival. Platinum-based chemo doublets remain the cornerstone of treatment for first-line therapy of more fit patients in this setting. We've also asked whether patients should continue on the same first-line therapy until progression, or whether patients should receive a fixed number of cycles and then stop. This trial compared treatment with carbo and taxol every three weeks for up to four cycles and then stopping and watching patients to an alternative approach of treating with carbo and taxol until progression or patients develop prohibitive side effects. A minority of patients on the ongoing treatment arm received the doublet for many, many months and developed rather severe neuropathy and other side effects. Nevertheless, the final results of the trial showed that there was not a survival benefit for ongoing treatment. Patients on a fixed number of cycles did just as well and experienced fewer side effects than the patients who received ongoing indefinite treatment. This led to a standard of care being established in which most oncologists would stop first-line chemo after four to six cycles in patients who hadn't progressed before then. A final question about combining chemo is whether a three-drug combination is beneficial. We've established that two drugs is better than one, but overall the studies that have compared three standard chemo drugs to two have shown a higher initial response rate with the triplet, but considerably worse side effects and no net improvement in overall survival. Consequently, platinum-based doublets have been reaffirmed as the standard approach for our chemotherapy base. To summarize the role of chemotherapy for good performance status, healthier patients with metastatic, previously untreated advanced non-small cell lung cancer, Platinum-based doublet chemotherapy has been well-established as the cornerstone of treatment, and many different combinations have been compared and shown to be very similar in efficacy. The primary differences are in the anticipated side effects and schedule of administration for each chemo regimen. While platinum-based doublets are far more commonly used, non-platinum doublets have also been studied and offer another comparable option, but not a clearly superior one. Based on studies that have shown no benefit to continuing first-line treatment beyond four to six cycles, that is usually the limit we pursue before either stopping to follow patients off treatment or switching to another approach, which is the subject of another discussion in itself. Multiple trials have illustrated that chemotherapy doublet combinations are superior in activity to single-agent approaches for healthier patients in the first-line setting for advanced non-small cell lung cancer, but three-drug chemotherapy combinations, or triplets, have not been shown to be superior to doublets, adding side effects but without a convincing survival benefit. However, triplets that include two standard chemotherapy drugs plus a targeted therapy provide another way of moving beyond the two-drug so-called chemotherapy plateau in advanced non-small cell lung cancer, and that is an important discussion for another presentation. You can find information on many of these topics in more detail within the subject archives at the web address www.cancergrace.org forward slash lung. And people can also leave comments and questions about this presentation at the web address in the middle of this slide. Please note that you need to be a registered member of Grace to leave comments or questions, but that's free and relatively easy to do through the website. Thank you for your interest.